What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back! In today's video we are checking out an electric motorcycle. I'm just joking, this is an electric bicycle, this is called the Angui M20 and yes it does look a lot like a motorcycle. So this bike is powered by a 750 watt motor that's located in the rear wheel. Here we also get 20 inch wheels, these are 4 inch wide tires, so the fat tires as um, these are known to be called. So this makes the ride more comfortable because you do have massive tires so whenever you go over bumps over uneven terrain the ride is pretty comfortable we also have a front and rear suspension and a seven gear shimano shifter with that being said let's start by doing a bit of an unboxing just so i can show you how the bike comes packed in the box and what you have to do to get this ready and on the road all right so as you'd expect the bike comes in a fairly big box the box is also pretty heavy mostly because the bike itself is heavy so this um, has a weight of about 35 kilos so it is a pretty heavy bike so you're not going to be able to carry this um, around that easily all right so out of the box you do have to do a bit of an installation you have to put a front wheel together you have to put a front mud guard together the massive headlight here you also have to put the handlebar together the pedals and the kickstand all together you should be ready and on the road in about 45 minutes taking a quick look at the bike well this looks very different than most other e-bikes out there if you look at it from afar it definitely looks more like a motorcycle than an e-bike and of course that has a lot to do with the massive headlights that we have on the front here so you also have some daytime running lights in those lights there but then you can also turn them on and they are very very bright you can definitely see them during the day and very bright at night as well since we are talking about um, lights we also have a rear light here this also acts as um, a brake light so whenever you press a brake lever that light uh, will light up um, a bit more as i mentioned earlier we do have a front and rear suspension the front suspension here has about two inches of travel definitely not the most travel for um, a front suspension and the rear suspension well it doesn't seem to do that much when you sit on the bike it does move slightly but you don't actually notice it that much so the bike also has mechanical disc brakes on the front and on the back now the top speed for this bike out of the box is 25 kilometers an hour you can also unlock it and it will go faster than that but if you're doing 25 30 kilometers an hour the brakes have plenty of power to stop you so no problems with the brakes and i'm very happy to say that they don't actually make any noise whenever you're riding so a good thing the bike has metal mud guards on the back and on the front now here it doesn't really rain so i haven't actually experienced the bike in rain but from the looks of those mud guards it should be able to they should be able to protect you from water the seat on this bike is also a bit different than most e-bikes out there so yes we do have a pretty big seat here the seat is also quite comfortable but unfortunately the seat cannot be moved up or down so this is how the seat will always be now the handlebar here um, you can kind of move it forward a bit or backwards a bit so there is a bit of an adjustment so you are the most comfortable out there but I'm not sure that I like the riding position from this bike because of that seat my knees are always um, going very high now this is what you're gonna get from this style of a bike but personally I prefer a regular looking bike because it is much easier and much more comfortable um, to pedal you can also get this bike with one battery pack or with two battery packs i personally have the version that has one battery pack and at the top here we basically get a bit of storage space i find that uh, this is very very useful here because you can keep your phone in here you can keep your keys in here and so on so the battery pack can also be removed so you don't necessarily have to charge it in the bike uh, there is a key on this side here you can easily unlock that and remove uh, the battery pack charging this takes about six hours and on one charge you're gonna get about 50 kilometers maybe 45 maybe 60 now it really depends on many factors it depends how heavy you are it depends what assistance level um, you're riding on it depends on the temperature if you're um, going uphill and so on so between 40 and 60 kilometers i'm gonna say on one charge 
The bike is also powered by a 750 watt motor that's located in the rear wheel here with a peak power of 1000 watts. Now the bike has plenty of power in pretty much any situation so it doesn't matter if you're riding on a flat road like this, if you're going uphill, the bike has plenty of power for pretty much any situation. Now this bike is also using a 7 gear Shimano shifter so of course you can shift gears um, up down so it makes it easier whenever you're going uphill. I did have to adjust a bit the shifter but now it um, does work good so shifting gears up and down is done um, without any problems. All right so let me quickly show you how you ride um, this bike. So basically we have the power button right here. I'm not sure if you can see that well on the camera and at the bottom here we have two more buttons from those um, you change assistance level so we are now in assistance level one. So with this bike you also get a throttle so you can accelerate either with the throttle or um, you start pedaling and then the bike will start assisting you. I find that um, it's the easiest if you accelerate to the throttle and then you start pedaling. So accelerate and now start pedaling and um, after you start pedaling the bike will start assisting you. I'm gonna show you how uh, the brakes work as well. So we are doing about 20 kilometers an hour. I'm gonna brake somewhere around here. So pretty decent brakes uh, I feel. The shifter also works uh, decent enough. I did have to adjust it a bit out of the box, but overall it does um, work decent. So that easy to ride uh, this bike, basically. I guess that throttle uh, definitely makes a difference um, for pedaling. I'm not sure how I feel about my knees though, because I do feel that my knees are going pretty high up. So this is definitely not the most um, comfortable riding position on an e-bike but I guess if you want this kind of um, bike um, you're gonna have to get used to this um, riding position so yeah this is it to ride this bike moving up to the handlebar well the handlebar does look a bit more unusual I'm gonna say as I mentioned earlier you can kind of adjust this um, to be a bit forward or backwards so your riding comfort is better the grips here don't seem to move on the right hand side we have a throttle so you can accelerate to this so you don't necessarily have to pedal and since we have a powerful motor you can really go without pedaling at all the screen is located on the left hand side here you can see it even even on a brighter day like today there isn't that much information displayed but you can see how much battery you have the current speed and so on and of course on the right hand side here we have the shifter and the brake levers are made out of um, plastic on the left hand side of the screen here we have the button for the headlights so you can turn those on like that um, you basically have the daytime running lights but then you can turn them on when you need more light and we also have the horn so a pretty loud horn as well. So to quickly conclude this video, if you are looking for a bicycle that looks like no other, if you are looking for a bicycle that will turn heads everywhere you go, the Angui M20 is the bike to go for because everywhere I go people just stare at it because what? Well, it doesn't look like a regular bicycle. Now comfort wise this is not the most comfortable bike out there. If you're looking for something more comfortable a bike like the Angui L20 that I have there is much more comfortable but again that bike is not gonna look as well unusual as uh, the M20 that we have um, here. All right guys um, hopefully you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.